Uh, well, I don't even know anymore. Uh, Jiggy Jack TV, <laughs> JiggyJackTV.com. Also, RossLong.info, and now Rock This Magazine. I am Jigman Freud, the master debater, the cunning linguist, the admiral of alliteration, or as Tim Dixon calls me, the social media journalist. I'm going to get the hell out of the way and let the people with talent talk. Jump in there, Bluff Force Trauma. How the hell are you guys in, end up playing the Muse Ballroom tonight? We don't know. We don't know how we got <laughs> We have no idea. Ago, a long time ago, somebody said, hey, you should play our senior release. And we said, okay, and I'll be in this one. That's it? There you go. That sounds about it. And then they're like, hey, we got the CD coming out. You guys are playing the show still, right? And we're like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> did we say that? Yeah, we did. I think so. Yeah. So for the people that uh, have been hiding under rock for a couple of years, go ahead and introduce yourselves. I am Darkness. I play the drums. I'm one of the people under the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jared, uh, the bass player. <laughs> Matt, vocals. Um, I'm Travis, I'm the other bass player. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, two bass players. Yep. First man with two blades. Two, uh, two blades, like, two blades players. That's yep. right. Blaze, blaze, blaze. Thank you, Dark. But blaze. His, his blaze has, has six strings, and some of them are smaller than the others. They don't get bigger, they just get smaller. They just get smaller. I guess it is. That's it? Yeah. It fucking happens, you know? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. I'll say it as a joke, and then he just brings <laughs> out the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you guys think of the, uh, the Muse Ballroom? I think it's nice, and the stage is awesome. I'm excited to play, and I want to get drunk. I hear you guys are gonna play yeah. as fast, like double fast, so you can all go get drunk. Is that? No, no. I play double fast when I'm drunk, but I can't get drunk before I play because I'll throw up all over the place. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. When when he's drunk, he tends to make the speed double speed, so it makes all the songs suck more than what they do already. I throw up, and then he throws up, which I makes it you, better. But then I throw up, and then it's just a puke. I hear you guys are like the, the the big superheroes of Garden City. People just love you guys. Who told Fuck you that Garden crap? City. I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> you should kick that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat him up. <laughs> nah, we, we we started something in Garden City, and it was it was big for a bit, and then other people took over, and I, they're still doing a good job. I think I just we did it better. <laughs> You guys like what do you think of these lights? I think they're like I'm under I think they're racist as fuck. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> you, know, you know what's bad is that Ross has got a light up there that's not even turned on. So it's maybe like, maybe if he had that light we wouldn't need these two fucking spotlights. God damn it. Crap. <laughs> you know what's great about this is that he doesn't have to worry about the light. He's like barely in Whenever. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, are you guys interested in? Are you guys excited about a certain band tonight besides yourself playing? That? Yeah, we're excited about every band on this bill. Not so much about ourselves. Not yeah. <laughs> Not about ourselves. Oh, we yeah, really yeah, want to yeah, see yeah. Hemlock, Breakpoint, and Friends of ours, and we're excited about them all. Never oh, seen uh, Assembly Line God, so we're pretty stoked. There was a, at one time, Cash Hollister was on this bill. I know, I heard, he, he, uh, <laughs> he got sick this morning and he couldn't play it. Because it's, it's adding different mixes to the local music. I mean, it would have been cool to see his friends come out, his fans come out. Just would have been more people, you know? That would be two black people. And it would have been two <laughs> black people. And we would have exposed all the people that like rap to our music and stole them away. Would have been cool. But he got sick, punk. We couldn't play. <laughs> Just kidding. I love Cash Hollister. He's great. He's a great guy. I mean, you could have introduced the mosh pit to hip hop. They got mosh of their own and yeah, yeah, yeah. beer bottles and knives and all that. Shit. <laughs> I take that back to Cash. I love you. <laughs> now, uh, is is there a particular theme to Blunt Force Trauma that you guys like have particular themes in your music and brutality? That's basically what we go for. We want it hard, heavy, and in your face. Straight up about everything. So that's you know, what we're about. You know what's great about the lead singer of Blunt Force Trauma, Ross? 
is the fact that uh, this guy is so casual here, but then when he gets on stage, it's like you just want to throw him your wall. And he'll just you take it from that. you if you don't. You can do that if you want to. Other than the fact that you owe me money, so it's probably... <laughs> <laughs> I definitely take anybody's money. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> horse shit. I owe you money and what else? A bucket of chicken. A bucket of chicken. Fried chicken? Baked. <laughs> <laughs> I have a you question for darkness. I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't ask it. Now, uh, uh, when you play, do you break things? Sometimes. Uh, accidentally or on purpose? Accidentally. I'm fat. That's why he has it. I'm fat. Okay. Do you, do, you guys, do you guys ever break things when you're on stage? Jeremy Actually, the Matt's head with his bass. Yeah. yeah. Every yeah, single show. Almost every single show. I break everything. The, the, the first show we did, we threw in Garden City, the actual show. Um, we borrowed some stage from a local high school there, and uh, we managed to get it to collapse on us <laughs> while we were on stage. We were the last one. It didn't break anything, except we thought it did. And it looked pretty bad, but it was pretty badass, though. So. Badass when we're playing and the stage fucking collapses. Did it, it break your No, it, it didn't. Was, it was awesome, and everyone yeah. cheered. If I would have fell off my platform, I would have been fucked. <laughs> that thing was high, man. I was scared to death. Yeah, it would have been funny, and I'm looking over there thinking, Jared, don't fucking do this. Don't fucking do this. And he's just like, what? And you kept on freaking bouncing on that well, board. the other side. Mm -hmm. You did it on purpose. Collapsed. Yeah. Oh. It didn't break your spirit, though. Never. Oh, never. Okay. <laughs> never. Now, you guys are on Facebook, I understand. Yep. The, Where else are you? Twitter, all that stuff? We, you do any tweeting? We, mainly in Facebook. We have a MySpace, but nobody visits it anymore. And so. It's because we suck. Yeah. That, that's for the most part. MySpace. Yeah. There's no, like, blunt force yeah. drama on yeah. Twitter or anything? No, not, yet. not right now. You guys don't tweet? Nope. We're not birds. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fast with it, shit. It's awesome. <laughs> he's witty. He's great. Really? Oh, and look at that. He's getting he's getting a phone call from the president. Hi. <laughs> We're busy. He has to go. Hi. <laughs> They're on the phone, and I'm gonna get the hell out of here. And <laughs> you're watching Jiggy Jag TV. Sorry, Ed Baldwin, we ran out of time.